Well, first stop along the way is making a new repository in GitHub in the web interface and working with files while we're there. So, what I've done is I have created a folder in my home folder called Git Playground and it's empty right now and we're going to work with a couple of uh, Git repositories in there and hopefully learn a few things along the way. So here we are on GitHub. I am logged in here and uh, what I'd like to do is create a new repository. So how do we create a new repository? Well if we click on the plus sign we can just click new repository. Now the first thing you get to do is name your repository. In this case we're going to call it uh, GitHub uh, 101. Okay, And description of that repository is uh, a test of GitHub. Easy enough. You can also put like your website in here or something like that, a uh, link to your project page, something like that. Uh, and then you have a choice of public or private. Now, uh, public, 100% um, free, anyone can see it and uh, um, download the material. Uh, private, uh, only you can see it and only people you choose can see it. Uh, do be aware, some cases of private uh, use can actually uh, cost you money, so just be aware of that. Uh, not necessarily the case in every case, but, uh, but do be aware of that. Uh, and then you have a choice to initialize this repository with a readme or not. Um, we're going to do it both ways. In 101 we're going to do it with a readme and we're going to work with the web GUI interface and then we're going to do it a, a different way without the readme so we can see what happens when we do that uh, because it is notably different. Then you can also add a license file if you'd like. Uh, there's tons to choose from. Um, we're just going to add one just for fun here. Uh, the Apache license making it open source of course and then we will create our repository and here we go so in our repository we have two files we have this license file right with the whole license in there pretty nice license files uh, work in a particular way and it can parse them and it shows you uh, some things here very handy if you're working on open source projects and then the uh, readme.md which is typically displayed at the bottom here we go readme.md uh, there's only been one commit and that was the initial commit of adding these two files and so it shows us that it's added the license and the readme you see the pluses to say these files were added there's two changed files 203 additions and zero deletions so we can kinda see what's been going on in this repository so creating a repository is super easy but if we're gonna work with it with the web GUI how do we add a new file pretty easy so we can create a new file and say uh, let's call this file um, file uh, one alright and uh, this is the one file right so we want to add that we're ready to commit that so we need to um, give it some kind of title if you just hit commit it'll do these uh, hint options that it has here but we can be like oh we created a new file and this is our first added file and then you can either commit it directly or create a new branch and start a pull request and we're gonna get into pull requests a little bit later We'll talk about that in a little bit, but for sure we're going to commit it directly to the master branch right now. So we commit that new file, and there we go. We see that file one is right there. There's our file. We can read it. Uh, we can look at it. We see the commits. How many things have we added to this? We have our initial commit, and then we have created a new file, and we see this extra line in here. Now that we've created a file, we might wonder, well, how do we edit that file? Like, we want to work with that file. We want to do something to it. So if you click on the file, file one, and we can click this edit button, and we can just go ahead and edit as, as normal. This is, we'll just call it one file, a really great file, right? 
And we're going to stick with those default options. Those are fine. We'll just commit those changes. Right? We go back. We look, now we're up to three commits because three things have changed since this began. Our initial commit, our creating the new file, and then our updating file one. Now notice this time we have a red line as well as green lines. That's because we have one changed file where we had two additions and one deletion. We deleted this line and put in this line. You might say, well, why don't they call it modified instead of deleted and added? But that's just how it works. It deletes that line that has changed and adds a new line for it. And uh, so you can see the minus right here as well as the red shows that this part was removed and then you can see the green positive signs over here to say this was added. You can also make a comment just testing. Um, you know anybody who looks at this file they'll see your comment that you made about it. So pretty handy. Um, thing to look at here. Another way to add files is to upload a file. Okay, So we can upload a file and this would be where you would drag a file and, and put it in here. We'll have to make a file. Let's just make a uh, new empty document. Um, new file dot text. Right? And we'll open that with gedit and say uh, file number two. We'll save that. All right. So, for instance, you can drag and drop. Um, you can choose your files. It, there's my file just got added. Added files file upload. Uh, you could change that to added file two. Uh, I added a second file. All right. We commit that change. And there we go. So now we've added more files, right? So we have our fourth commit now. We're added file number two. We see file number two, new file was added. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward to work with the um, the web uh, GUI. But you could also say, well, you know, I really didn't like that file. I didn't want it to be there. How do I get rid of a file through the red uh, through this? web GUI and you can do that by deleting the file you just click on it and then you can click this delete button and it's like do you want to do this it's going to commit these changes you can write in I didn't need this file right we commit our change now we see we have five commits and our file is gone and this file was removed right here and of course it's not in our list anymore. So pretty handy uh, for using the web GUI to create a new file, upload a file, um, and, and to work with that. But so far we've only been working with one branch. So in the next video I'd like to take a look at multiple branches.